Now, legislative readers drawn from Africa, Asia, and the Caribbean, and America have resolved to end human conflicts between African and European nations at the conclusion of the 2020 International Leadership Conference held virtually in South Korea. The leaders also have challenged the international community and the media to focus on nation-building stories in Africa. According to legislative leaders, Africa has great potential and opportunities in almost every sector that need to be highlighted and tapped. Speaker of the Ugandan Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, called on political leaders in Africa to put in place policies to promote research and innovation on the continent's natural resources. To ensure that the resources we allot go to the right purpose, and that they are able to make uh, a difference in our, in our communities. We also have a duty to work on issues of uh, interstate uh, uh, mediation processes. Hilikba, former deputy speaker, the Neset, Israel challenged the media to shun the narrative of corruption, extreme poverty, and civil strife on the African continent. It's important to note and understand, for example, that uh, only in 30 years, in two, uh, 2050, one third of the people uh, under the age of 30 will be living in Africa. And this is a huge fact that we should pay attention to and get ready uh, to deal with. He said focus should instead be on creating awareness on available opportunities in Africa. On his part, Tini Oiseni, president of the National Assembly of Niger, said the coronavirus pandemic had presented an opportunity to rethink humanity. The virtual conference was organized by the Universal Peace Federation, co-founded by Hak Jahan Moon. Irene Mchuma Odin, Channel One.